Oh, good afternoon and good morning. Welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, October 5th, the 27th Tuesday of Ordinary Time, and it is the feast day of St. Francis Xavier Silos. He is a more, more modern saint. Uh, he was canonized um, in 2000. And he was a German redemptorist who worked as a missionary in the United States uh, back whenever the U.S. was missionary territory. And uh, towards the end, of the end of his life, he went to New Orleans to minister to victims of yellow fever, which he eventually contracted the disease that he died um, shortly thereafter uh, in his late 40s. So I don't know what he's the patron saint of, though. Anyway, he, uh, today's gospel is from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through, 40, 38 through 42. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. As they continued their journey, he entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. Okay, so we've got the, the gospel on, in Luke's gospel today about Martha and Mary. Two characters, real characters, um, in scripture uh, that we can use to to show and demonstrate balance. You know, there's a time for work, and then there's also a time for relaxation and listening and prayer. And you can tell pretty clearly what Jesus is emphasizing right now. Because this doesn't mean that he, he doesn't love Martha, that Martha's not doing virtuous stuff. It's just saying that, hey, know yourself. Have the awareness to realize when it's time to just take a break and relax and to be still and to be silent and to listen to the Lord. You know, you know, verse 9, I'm going to reread. It says, she had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. That is what we are supposed to do every time we go into prayer. We enter into prayer. And it's not supposed to be just this, this checklist of saying, okay, I prayed today, I'm done. You know, it needs to be truly time spent with the Lord in relationship. Um, yeah, and we need to be able to actually hear and listen to the words of the great teacher, our Lord. And, and how hard that is sometimes um, amongst the hustle and bustle in life and also the distractions. You know, social media, the internet, TV, all this technology stuff, you know. You know, all of our, you know, our kids that have this practice, that practice, this play, that, pr this play. You know, there's so much busyness going on. And Jesus is telling us to relax and to calm down. Otherwise, we're going to be overworked, overburdened. And we're never going to have the time that it takes to be at rest and to be at peace. Be at peace, which can only happen through relationship with God the Father. Because he planted that in our hearts. Because we belong to him whether we accept that or embrace that or act upon that or not through trying to seek out prayer. So I'm going to assume that if you're listening to this video, that you're Christian. Maybe not, but, um, and, if, and if you're not, thanks for watching. But um, presuming that you are Christian watching this, the challenge today is going to be to just slow down and relax and take like 30 minutes in prayer, not 30 minutes on your phone or 30 minutes watching TV in silence or 30 minutes. Whatever. I want pure silence. And I don't. Jesus wants pure silence. He wants you to give him at least 30 minutes. You know, crack open your Bible, read a paragraph or two very slowly, see what sticks out to you, and then do it again and see what else sticks out to you. Maybe it's the same thing. And then do it again. And maybe something else, or the or the same thing will stick out to you. And then just go there and sit and meditate on that for a while. And just try to let God speak. That's called lectio divina. 
and um, a very common practice of prayer that many Christians don't know. So that's what we need to do, you know, because we need to, a lot of us want to know Scripture. And there's a difference between knowing Scripture and actually knowing Scripture by letting it rest in us and letting it transform our lives by how we live. And we can only get refueled and regenerated by going to God in prayer. So with all that being said, good luck, enjoy, God bless, and keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.